and welcome to Zabbix for Beginners series. My name is Ali Reza and I'm your, and I'm your host in this series. This is my blog www.cbt4all.com and please feel free to give me your feedback about my video training and uh, by the way my video training are free so you can download and use them for, for free this is an introduction video what does it mean I just want to talk about uh, this series for example what what I want to do in this series and who is this series for and you know what is our scenario how you can download the and pre requirement for creating a lab so uh, this is only the in an introduction video if you don't like to watch this video jump to next video so in this series I we learn uh, Zabbix based on a practical scenario. What does it mean? It means based on an, a step-by-step -step approach. You can just watch, match to watch the watch the videos, match the videos as scenario to your organization. And uh, you know, if you don't like my accent, is if uh, the English is not your first language. You can turn off your speaker just follow the video and follow the commands because all of the commands all of the pro process all of the steps are written so you can only what you can only uh, follow the videos also one more thing uh, the things is these videos are not approved by Zavix what does it mean it means you know the story is I try to convince Zabbix to review my videos and give me the feedbacks uh, several times uh, and my goal was make the videos correct error free and obviously approved and linked by Zabbix I try to say that you know uh, all, as these videos are free for people for you please help me to make it popular make it correct and you know anyway I wasn't successful to do it so the summary is these videos are not approved by Zabbix okay if you are like me it means new in Linux if you don't you don't want to uh, you jump to different uh, forms, different website and research so it's videos for you if you are like me lazy these videos appropriate for you if you are you know uh, beginners in Linux and Zabbix world these videos for you what does it mean if you are an expert in Linux if you are an expert in Zabbix Nagus these with these series are not uh, appropriate for you and also uh, I consider that you already know some things for example you know what is the ping you know what is the SSH you know what is the SNMP you know what is the TCP IP because I cannot explain all of them in uh, Zabbix videos so I I consider that or I suppose that you know them and obviously you should be able to follow the video tutorial and you are connected to the, in to the internet because you uh, have to download some pre requirements one more thing in this slide is I suppose that you know what is the monitoring system you know what is the monitoring software why you need monitoring software you already compared Nagus, Cactus, SolarWinds, PRTG, every uh, uh, different monetary system and you have already chosen Zabbix you chose Zabbix what does it mean? it means I won't uh, compare Zabbix with Nagus I won't compare Zabbix with Cacti I won't compare SolarWinds with, uh, with PRTG I suppose that you chose Zabbix because Zabbix is awesome so uh, 
I, 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 I have no time to compare all of them. You can find it on internet as well. This is our scenario which we want to work on this scenario during uh, our series. We have Zabbix server here. We have a computer. This is our Zabbix server. And we have dif uh, different network device like routers. For example, we have routers here. And we have one or two Windows servers. And here we have Linux server. Zabbix server is responsible to monitoring all of these uh, devices and servers. Um, obviously, if Zabbix server want, uh, wants to monitor the routers and network device, the protocol which should be used is SNMP. And for the servers, we have uh, two different way, SNMP and Zabbix agent. And in the uh, and later I will explain what is the SNMP and what is the Zabbix agent and what is the difference between them. Also, we want to, for example, suppose that this link is down. For any reason, the Zabbix server should send an alarm email for us for the, uh, to admin and inform him or her uh, sometimes. Inform him or her that this link is down and the Zabbix server is responsible to create a graph. For example, uh, CPU usage, bandwidth usage, memory usage, everything. We need to have a graph and monitor them by graph or graph. Okay, what we need. First, we need Pocket. Okay, let's go and download the Pocket. Here you can see download. Here you can download the party. Okay. Next one. Download the Linux server. I want to use Ubuntu or sometimes called Ubuntu Linux server for installing the Zabbix because it's handy, easy. So you can you can choose another Linux version, but I recommend Ubuntu. Ubuntu server. Okay, here you are, and you can download Ubuntu server from here. The last one. Download. Oracle VirtualBox because I want to install all of them on VirtualBox for my lab. So here Oracle vir VirtualBox This is the last version for Windows for example and please download so this one one extension so what I have what do I have I have here Ubuntu oh sorry party Ubuntu servers and Oracle virtual box uh, plus its extension okay next make a lab in GNS3 I did it before here my this is my lab and the, and the only things I want to mention is for for Zabbix server itself I want to install Zabbix server on on let me show you virtual box I want to install Zabbix server on in my virtual box so I have to connect virtual box to GNS3 as a my environment lab environment what I'll do I create a cloud here and as I want to connect this cloud 
I can change the symbol if for example here okay and I can change the name I'm sure you know this but anyway hello okay this is hello server anyway so uh, as I want to connect this Zabbix server to internet as well as my environment what I'll do I I see that I'm connected to the internet for example at the moment at the moment I'm connected to the internet by wireless or true wireless so what I will do in the cloud this is my cloud I add uh, I connected this I connect this cloud to my wireless my wireless adapter or wireless NIC network interface card so uh, I, I I will be able to connect Zabbix to my environment as well as internet so okay this is our environment the IP address you can see here is the IP address in my environment what does it mean in your laboratory in your environment you can choose another IP address the IP address of all of these servers is in the range of 192.168.1 one something slash 24 and the Zabbix server I choose 192.168.1 uh, 200 for Linux server for example 207 for this router 200 and, uh, 201 so uh, this is the IP address in my environment you can choose or you can match this IP address in your environment what you need to do before uh, before installing the Zabbix you have to you need to install uh, Linux and Windows you need to configure the routers and genistry and please be sure all of the connectivity is uh, you know you can ping you can trace out all of the connectivity because uh, you you have to use the uh, Zabbix for monitoring all of them so it means the Zabbix should be able okay oops uh oh I should do it something here anyway uh, so uh, where we were where we were okay the, the Zabbix server is responsible to monitoring all of them so it means uh, the, the Zabbix server should be able to ping Windows servers, your routers, and the Linux servers as well. So uh, please uh, be sure that all of the connectivity uh, is done. So how you can download and in install Zabbix? Generally, there are two ways of getting Zabbix. Let me show you. Let me show you. Like what do I have here? Skip. Zabbix.com. It's Zabbix.com. I go to documentation. I'm, I, w I want to work in with last version of Zabbix, so it's 2.4. 2.4 in the left in the installation getting Zabbix okay we have three ways of getting Zabbix distribution package uh, compile it yourself based on last source archive and download uh, virtual applicants so three way and I recommend I, I like this one handy easy and very good so my appro my approach um, is based on uh, distribution package so you can download it uh, the, la the last source and compile it yourself I have no idea about this and what is the virtual applicants so let me first show you how you can download the virtual applicants virtual applicants based on SUSE Linux download virtual applicants so we have different version of pre-installed and configured um, 
Zabbix on Linux and sometimes Windows and you can use them but they, so you can use you can evaluate you can you know you and you can use it for your training the issue is the virtual applicants uh, looks like a Linux live and it means if you restart these applicants virtual applicants if you restart the Zabbix all of the data will gone because it's live Linux so what I do I use this approach thanks for your time I hope it's informative you for you and I want to thank you for viewing see you in the next video